You can pick up your Dragon Ball figures at Big Bad Toy Store at the link in the description. Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's going to be Steven here, and welcome to another Dragon Ball review, where today we are going to be taking a look at something very interesting. It's going to be the Ichiban Show Kuji, depending on how you look at things, Cell Max from the lineup of Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Beast. Cool. Now, if you look at this from the Ichiban Kuji standpoint, this is going to be the C prize in the lineup, and the Ichiban Show side of things, that's going to be the US distribution. This is going to be at retail, thanks to the folks at Bandai Namco Toys and Collectibles America, and this is going to have a retail price of about $105 or so. Cool? Neat. So this is going to be in the same scale as like the larger figures think of things like the Golden Great Ape, Great Ape Vegeta, Shenron, and Purunga. But I'm going to have to say I'm not necessarily as impressed with this one as I would some of the other ones that I just mentioned. Admittedly, those are going to be in the realm of last prizes, and this is a C prize. But let's take a look to see whether or not it's going to be worth adding into your collection. Big guy. Uh, let's talk. All right, so when it comes to the looks of Cell Max here, obviously they did capture the overall features of Cell, and they did capture the feel of this nice new hulking form of the character. I mean, it's not quite Cell, but it is. I think you know what I'm trying to say here. What I really do like about the figure, I have to say overall, is that there is a nice texture to him. I think it does look great. Cell is very insectoid, so we do have not necessarily nice and smooth aspects of Cell. It's kind of stylized here, so we get some little cracks and crevices, which look great. The face is very notably Cell, and realistically, everything is nicely done. Perhaps some may find that the green is a bit too bright as well as the red, but I do think that the paint application that is chosen for Cell really complements each other, especially where we do have the dark purple, almost maroon-like paint application for this figure. Of course, this version of Cell does have a club for a tail instead of a sucker, <laughs> I guess you might say, and with that, it looks nice as well. Very, very cool. The black dots, or uh, uh, Dots? Yeah, I guess that's the only thing to call them that Cell is well known for in all of his different forms are sculpted nicely on this figure too. Cell does have wings which are going to be detached in the box. You are just going to have to pop them in. Really simple. You, you don't really need to follow any instructions. You just put them in. And there is going to be one little support stand that is going to go by Cell's foot. I will note that this is more so precautionary than mandatory. If you lose it, don't worry about it. The one major thing I feel that holds this figure back is going to be a black wash that is found on the figure. I do feel that this is intended to really bring out the sculpted details, which do look great. I mean, Cell is in this striking pose like he's going to fire off a mouth cannon a la Nappa, but... The problem is, is I feel it is very, very strong and almost brings down the quality. Like this feels something that I found outside. It feels like it's dirty. I don't really think it matches the $105 price tag. I'm thinking of the last prize Shenron that was released or Purunga, where we do have very subtle paint applications that really help to bring out those details. And here I'm not necessarily seeing it. But that is something that I am going to talk about pertaining to the prize rarity. We're going to go ahead and move on over to a size comparison now where we do have the SH Figure Arts Gohan Beast. Uh, I already talked about, you know, the sizing class, if you will, with some of the other larger Ichiban figures. Um, I don't really collect this line, so hopefully this will be helpful. Um, and I will talk about the reason why I got this. So buy now, skip or wait for a deal. This is a large character. Cell Max is huge, and the reason why I got this is I collect six-inch scale figures like SH Figure Arts, and even though this isn't necessarily one-to-one -to, -one to scale, it, you can put this in the back of a shelf or a nice display piece or a stand-in for you know a giant Cell Max that is attacking your Gammas and uh, Pan and Gohan and so forth, and, and I think this is a pretty nice placeholder. But what I think sort of draws this figure back is that it is very ambitious to be very cool 
cool. And it is sort of in that same tier, almost approaching it as if it would be like a last prize, which is coveted. But this is going to be a C tier prize as if that may mean anything. So perhaps when they were thinking of where the prizes would be, that this wouldn't be just simply like one and done. And this would be the most coveted where people are constantly throwing tickets to this way they can try to get it when it comes to getting it through the lottery system. Yeah, maybe that's going to be one of the reasons why people would get this really quick. But when it comes to the North American distribution, you can just buy it. So maybe that's just something that's bothering me. It may not bother you. I do want to say, aside from that wash, which I do think holds it back, this is really nice and it is a great placeholder for something that may be better for SH Figure Arts collectors. If you are an Ichiban or Dragon Ball statue collector, this is a great entry for Cell Max into the collection. It's a nice pose, very great. Definitely a stylized take on Cell Max, just a bit, but captures the character two thumbs up in my book. <laughs>